Hello, I'm Melissa Francis, and I'd like to welcome you to Timeless Creations. Today, we're going to make special memories under glass. I love to create unique home decor pieces, and I like to always redo things differently than what they were meant to be. And you know, on the mental, you always have pictures and photos of your loved ones and your family. And I thought, oh, what can I do this year that's just a little bit different? We created this unique um, item called um, with our glass domes and I thought what a great idea to use our little resin pieces and our glass domes and create some timeless creations under glass and these are them right here. I just want to show you these are my three beautiful daughters. I'm very fortunate to have three beautiful blonde mon um, models and um, they make great photos for me when I'm doing my creations. And these are really cute that I've done under glass and I really like to get right to it and show you how it's done. So the first thing you're gonna do is the domes come like this um, with the chipboard and the dome. And um, I've painted uh, the base of the chipboard uh, cream and you really aren't, as you can see in the projects here, you don't really necessarily see them. This one you might a little bit more, um, but I just think it's a little bit more of a clean look because if you want it to last forever, you want to make sure that if things move around, it still looks really nice underneath. So we're just going to paint the chipboard cream. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our resin pieces. I've done, since I have three daughters, I thought I would do two square ones on the outside. And then my middle one, Little Alley, I've done in a different um, resin piece like this. And what you're going to do is just cut um, a picture um, to fit perfectly on the inside of your frame, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is how do I get it so that it stands up? Well, this isn't really rocket science. This is what, oh, what am I going to do? I had to come up with something and um, I couldn't figure out what to do and I raided my husband's um, tool, tool cabinet in the garage and I found some wire and I thought, okay, what can I do to make it stand up? So just all I did very simply was just, this is actually 19, 20 inch gauge um, wire and I just kind of wrapped it around my fingers. Like again, there's no, if anybody has any better ideas, uh, please let me know. <laughs> I just went like this, then up like that, then bent it around. Now. When I had to do this once when I was teaching and I ran out of wire, I actually substituted it for paper clips. So if you have those really, really strong paper clips, you could always use those as well. So I just kind of bent it down like this and then you just want some good wire cutters and you're just gonna cut off the excess. Oh, sorry, it's a little diffi difficult to kind of show you exactly. And you're just going to go like that. And the one thing you really wanna make sure is that the base is sitting as flat as possible. Now I'm a big lover of zip dry. And so what I've just done is take the zip dry and just, whoops, sorry about that. Just kind of really put all the glue on. And if you look right here on this one, I will show you that I have glued the base to it. Another thing that you can do is you can actually use duct tape. I know it sounds weird, but I find it a bit messy because sometimes you don't get it and it goes on the outside and you want it to be all kind of nice and tight on the inside. And I find this really holds up well. So you're just going to put a very generous portion <laughs> of the glue down. And then the same on the back of your little picture frame, you're just gonna glue it. And you wanna kinda make sure that you bend it before you glue this down. Um, Cause you don't wanna you know, work with the wire too much. You wanna make sure that you kinda have it at the right setting. Now, this one you can see I've kind of done in the middle. So it's gonna stand a little bit more front forward in the globe. If you wanna put more embellishments and more accents, you might want to glue your little um, stand further back like that. So that's how we do it. Now another thing I thought would be really cute is that again, if you look at the sample that I've done, you can see there's tiny little pieces of resin. These are our tiny little pieces that we have that come in a set, these four right here. And what I did is I grabbed our alphabets. We call them alphabets because they're little itty bitty <laughs> alphabets. And you can just find the ones, I have a daughter named Allie, Bree, and Whitney, and I just found the ones that best fit within the frames that I had. And then you can just go like that. So I just glued those on the back again, as you can see in the samples here, and just glued them to the front of the frames. So you're simply going to take it and you'll glue it in whatever position that you like, like that. All right, and then once that's done, I'm going to move you over to one that I've already done right here. And you're going to take the glass with the frame inside and however you want to do it. And now you have to decide what you want in the base. So there's lots of options. 
Um, I love our tissue paper garland. I think it's really fun. It's really playful. And it's all gathered up. And I've had a lot of people ask me if you cut it, if it's, is it going to fray? And it doesn't actually. If you just cut it like this, you have a little bit of confetti, but that's it. And it's great because you can just take it and you can just tuck it around your frame like this. You can wrap it around the back. You can do all kinds of things like that. And if you don't want to use a tissue paper, we have this really, really pretty um, organza ribbon that I love that's pink. And then again, you're just going to glue it to the base. Now the one thing about if you are going to use ours is that when you go to put the dome on, it just gets a little bit weird. If you look at this one, oops, right, right here, I kind of trimmed it down with my scissors so I cut it so that when I put the glue, glue the dome down, um, it's not going to look all kind of flat and yucky. So you just want to trim that up like that. So that's another option. Again, you could put glass glitter on the inside. You can see I'm going to show you shortly how to do glass glitter, but I've done it on the outside. You could actually do it on the inside. Um, you could do mica, all kinds of different ways of doing it. So what I've done on this one is done the organzas on the inside, and now I'm going to show you how to use the glass glitter. I love glass glitter because a lot of people think it's a little bit pricey, but you'd be surprised. We do a make and take with our glass glitter. We can almost get about 500 make and takes and um, we still have a little bit left in the bottom of the jar. So a little bit goes a long way. And one of the reasons why it does is because it's not a synthetic. It actually is, um, it's up, well it's glass, and yeah, it's not something I would be using around really little, little kids, but it's not that harmful. It's really quite easy to use. But the neat thing about it is it pours out like milk. You don't want to shake it, because a lot of people when they use glitter, because it's a synthetic, it has static, so it like you know sticks to each other. So everybody's pouring it out like this. But what you want to do is pour it out very, very gently, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and then every little piece will go back into your jar. So the first thing, again, I love the zip dry, and I'm just going to apply the zip dry very, very generously. If you just want a fine line of glue, then you can just do a very little bit. If you want like an awful lot, like a really big amount, just add more glue. That's completely personal. It's up to you. So you're just going to wrap around the dome like this with the glue. And then it's the fun part. Then we're just going to take the glass glitter and we're just going to, again, we're not going to shake. We're just going to pour it on. People are like, oh no, it's not all going to get back into the jar. Don't worry, don't worry, it will, it will. <laughs> and you're just going to go like that and you're just going to tap it off. Isn't that beautiful? It's really pretty. So that's how you do that. And you're just going to take your glass glitter that's on your, definitely want to have it on a, on a piece of paper or something that you can kind of fold like this. And you'll be surprised you're going to get pretty well everything back. Just give a couple of taps like that. And look, voila, there's just a few pieces. And if you really want to get it all back in, you still can get every piece back in. So that is our memories under glass. And the last thing I want to show you is that you can um, adorn the top. We've used a little bit of seam binding. We've done it crinkled. If you go to one of our previ previous segments, you can see how I do the crinkle seam binding. And then the organza, again, it's really pretty. If you look at it, it actually is elastic. So if I want to change this up, all I have to do is I can just take it off like this, change the ribbon, or I can change the organza to white or different colors. So I can simply just go like this and wrap it around. I didn't even glue it. And I've done a little accent. And then also, what I've done is taken, these are our little um, sentiments. You can even ink those up, and you can even just add them as a little touch like that. And if you're really lucky and very fortunate to have some old antique vintage spools, which of course I do, because <laughs> I love to antique, I thought, how beautiful would it be to put my domes on the spools? So I hope I've given you some timeless creations to take with you at home, inspired you, and I really thank you for joining me. Take care.